You work for a company like ShopRite or many others or a Chinese construction company. Try and join a union and inform your manager about it. Try that. With the first restructuring in the company, you are out the door. <laughs> it so happens that when companies restructure, 90% of those restructured out of the workplace are union members. So you create a strong disincentive and a warning to workers, don't join them, you're in trouble. Speaking on the future of work, the International Organization for Employers Vice President pointed out that young people are not interested in formal employment and are advocating for change at the workplace. And some young people say, well, let's see, but as far as we're concerned, we are quite convinced that unlike you, we don't want to work for a company forever, we want to sell ourselves as brands, our own brands, and sell ourselves to the highest bidder and work when we want to work and not work when we don't want to and do yoga for two days, do nothing for the third day and maybe work for three days. That is something we want to do and that's what young people say. So the ILO needs to be in touch with that. We need to be close and listen and brace ourselves for the change otherwise we become irrelevant. Like the United Nations, Africa does not have a permanent seat on the International Labour Organization.